<laughs> okay, Jay Anna, what's on the menu today for watercolors? Oh my goodness, we've got an exciting one to, to do today. Oh, goody, I love yeah. excitement. But it's a little more advanced, but I think it's going to really, really work for people. It's going to be, there's going to be no drawing in it, it's all about painting. Good. And it's on a loaded brush, and it's fly by the seat of your pants. Really. Okay. It's going to be really a blast. So I'm hoping uh, people are going to enjoy it. I know my students do, so I think it's, uh, I think it's a good one. Okay, great. I'm going to show you folks some of the work that uh, Jayanna does so you'll know where you're heading because uh, it's one thing to see these, but you need to see what she really does. See, folks, what I was talking about? This is, what is it, uh, Jayanna? Acrylic? Yeah. That's an acrylic, yeah. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at this one. Isn't that a beauty? <laughs> wow. That's not my kind of thing. I don't, I don't shine in those. I don't know how you do that. Look at that. Oh, look at the look at these. Uh, what are those lilies? Yeah. Amazing. Look at that. Let's get in close and have a look at these. So this is where you're hidden, folks. Okay, let her rip. All right. Okay, this painting is. Um... Uh, kind of monochromatic. I'm going to be using mostly earth colors and for the earth colors that I usually use are ultramarine blue and burnt sienna, sometimes raw sienna as well. I use those kind of colors <clears throat> mostly because they're warm and they're really really nice and I, what I want to show you is when I'm mixing colors I usually put them down side by side so they're not, I shouldn't even say, use the word mix, I kind of fuse them together so that I have this um, oh, what will I say? It kind of does have a little bit of a pulsation. So I'm going to show you what I do. Pulsation. That's yeah. a new one. That's a good way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Take your pulse. Okay, so I'm going to go in here with a probably skim milk consistency to begin with. And this is what this color? This is burnt sienna. Burnt. And I'm using a size 8, little Zen brush. They're really, uh, yes, a size 8 brush. It's a dandy little brush for drawing. So we're not going to do any pencil drawing here. No. This is all going to be done using uh, this little brush. Okay, I just want to show you what happens. I, I call these little snakes, actually. But this is what happens. If I pick up this color, yeah. then a little of this color, then I get, you oh, see the yeah. variation within that? Yes. Well, that's more interesting than if I mixed it. Right. So I usually try to just do this little balancing. So I go back and forth and back and forth between two colors. And then I have this, as they say, pulsation, for one want of a better word. Okay, or juggling. That's what, what right. I find. Mm -hmm. Now I want to have this nice little puddle of water here to start with. So but there we are, side by side. Those two colors are absolutely great. My brush is quite loaded. You can yes, see that. Loaded yes. brush is that I haven't taken off the excess water. So I go in here, okay. and I go in here, and I'm going to start right in here with this little center house, or this little building right here. So that's going to go right about here. No room for cold. errors here, eh? No, 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 no room for errors. See what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm looking down on this, so it's going to be down in the front and up in the back. Now, I'm not going to take a lot of time desc uh, describing that. Yeah, no. Because yeah. Uh, that's my uh, word for perspective. We're up on a step ladder looking down. Right? That's what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, I've just added a little bit of raw sienna to that as well. Yeah. See that, ni that oh, nice yeah. earthy color? Isn't that nice? Okay, so down here now, I'm going to take a line, and this is going to be the beginning of this building here. And I'm going to do it on the other side. Is this a fish door? Yeah, it's, oh yeah, they're all fish doors. Okay. Okay, so underneath here now, I'm going to do, this is going to be the shaded side. The sun oh. is coming from this direction, so I'm using pretty much the same colors. And I'm letting them dripple and droodles and all yeah, that. Is that, is that, is that a word, dripples and droodles? <laughs> <laughs> droodles, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll have to that one up. <laughs> okay, now this is, so this is kind of the underpainting for this. Now this is where we, this is what I call flying by the seat of our pants a little bit. So this is going to be the, the dock. I okay. wanted that a little warmer. So I keep adding, I'm just juggling. Dog, you're getting sophisticated. Oh, sophisticated. Wharf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's the wharf. And I work Albert's in opposites. Wharf? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> I work in opposites. So if I put a long stroke down, I'm probably going to take a short stroke. And this is, I do I often do this. I'll break a line. Okay. Because a broken line is more interesting than a straight okay. one. Okay. And then I do things like this. So this is, this is going to be like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another building from uh, behind it. So you see how wet this is? I know. It looks really, really mucky. Let's work a little bit of uh, Ross, uh, yeah, Ross Ann in there. Okay, this is another building. Now I'm going to start this building about here. Okay. And so I don't have any tension going there. So this is one's going here. I, I work too, like, uh, with familiar... Um, 
shapes. This is a triangle, right. of course, so if I'm doing that, so then now we're going to have this building going down like this, and then this one's going, say, like this one. Now, I want to make sure that I get that inside edge wet, because I don't want to outline. Oh, yeah, I know. know. I don't like hard edges. No hard edges. Not in, not in. No, no, well, hard, you know, you'd want yeah. you have to have some soft edges. So I'm going to just throw that in there. See how it took the inside edge yeah. and just filled that in a little bit? Yeah. So this is another building going on behind nice it. Nice and loose. Oh, loose, 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 yeah. Loosey-goosey. <laughs> <laughs> now I want a little bit of rust in this roof, so I'm going to take some cadmium orange. Oh, yeah. I love cadmium orange. And somehow cadmium orange has this it's kind of magical, really. Okay, so that we've got that going on here. Let's put a door here. This is a door. I'm underpainting. I'm doing most of this now in mid-value. There's no building. How do you put a door? <laughs> it's in the light, lovey. Okay. <laughs> it's in the light, darling. Okay. okay, so here I'm going to put a little bit of a window here. I've got this insatiable urge to put a door. So All I'm, right. going put, I'm going to put a door right there like because, you know, Ambrose has to go in and out. How come you didn't make, make a green door? Wasn't there a song? Hey, green door, that's like a like secret a you're keeping. Okay, I'm going to do this. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to, let me see, what am I going to do? Am I going to put that back there like that? I can't do that, can I? No. What are you doing? No. Well, I can't do that because I've got this going in the, well, in the Good thing you got that out of there oh, yeah. in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. really. Okie okay, dokie, so we've done that much. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my wharf, and I'm going to this, and this wharf is going to be one that's going to come in on the... The painting here and more, more. Um... You got quite an imagination. Oh, I do. Yes, I do. I've painted a lot of these little guys. Okay. These are the. These are the. The boards. The boards. Yeah. So that's going to go like so, and then I'm going to put another few piling. Or uh, what do you call those posts? Poles. Poles. For those good. That's where they tie up their boats. That's what they do. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that. That that's happening there. Of course, it helps is, hold up the wharf. With, it holds it holds up the wharf. Now, what I'm going to show you, this is where this gets kind of tricky, but it's really, really worth it. I, I say this. I've got always words and sometimes words, and this is an always word. And what I mean by that is that when I'm going to be doing an edge, it's always, always about one edge meeting another. It really is. And so, what I want to have happen here, I'm doing this, doing it here as well. But what I want to have happen is I'm going to go under this wharf because that's going to be dark. Right. And then it has to meet the stuff underneath it. Right. It's got to meet. And if that's a hard edge, it's just not going to work. So, yeah. I'm going to use stay with you. See how limited the palette is, but yes. yet it's going to work. Then yeah. we're going to put some wharf, what I call wharf jewelry. So you're going to see that's going to be fun. Okay, back I go to my burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. But this time, I've thickened it up. It's getting really quite thick. See that? Yes. See the difference? I'm so glad you're here to see the difference. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So under here now, is this is nice and dark. Oh, yeah. So here I have the... Isn't that nice and dark? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, have some there. Now, I am conscious. This is where I'm conscious of the outside edge and it's this one i want i can as long as i can keep that area wet i'm going to be fine you're going to bleed that in uh, yeah i want to bleed that in with what's going to go on next next to it so i can go a little while yet that'll that'll take a little while to dry so I'm, i'll go this far i may put a ladder there. i know because you right. said you can't work beyond places where you can't get it wet no keep exactly it wet. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in with raw sienna because this is a low tide that's what it is. That's okay. it. So I'm going in here with some raw sienna, and I go below it, All just right. below it, because what I want to have happen, I want this to bleed into it. All See right. that? Yeah. Isn't that magical? Yeah. Oh, that's really, really does it for me. That's the fun of watercolor. Oh, it's wonderful stuff. So I'm going to go like, keep going here with this. This is not a problem yet. It could be a problem if it dried though, but it's not going to. I just want to keep moving along here while this is wet. Excuse me, while this is wet. And then I'll do some more stuff. Now I'm going to go back and get some of this, and I'm just going to add some like this here. You've got to know the ocean and the and the and the coves and the wharfs yeah. and, and how it all works in order to do that without yeah, you thinking. Do. Yeah, you can't think. Because folks that haven't lived in that area, they would wonder how you're doing yeah, this. Yeah, they would really. 
See this edge here? Yes. This is going to it, describe the low tide. There's okay. a little bit of water coming yes. in here. Yes, okay. That edge is wet. Yes. When I meet that with with more wet, I have to have less less water on it, or I'll lose it completely. One-on-one, okay. on one, make two, and it'll just bleed right in there. Yeah. I yeah. don't want it to. So how do I avoid that? I take a little of the water off. Okay. So what's going to happen now? Now, you'll, you'll see I'll catch that edge. Yeah. See how that works? It's just magical, you know. Yeah, I know you know our good friend Dave Weissman. Oh. Why don't you paint the rest of your painting like you do to your skies? You know how to paint skies, do the right thing with the rest of your painting. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's his. How did you get his voice? You're, you could be a ventriloquist. <laughs> oh, no. You should have heard my brother. He was really good. <laughs> was he? Oh, yeah. No, this one is, see, I've got a little bit of going here. Now, yeah. I, I don't have to worry about this outside edge because I've got a plan for it, so I don't really need to worry. But I just right. want to show you what I normally do. When I don't know what to do with an edge, you because just, I want to make yeah, a decision yeah, later, yeah. I just soften All it. Right, that's and good. so that's, now you see how that's going yeah. in with that little bit of low tide. I'm even going to just put a bit of that yellow because that's what's going on here. It's on, it's low tide. And so that's just telling me that's what's happening. All the All right. seaweed and growies. All that wonderful, wonderful, yeah. wonderful stuff that happens there. <laughs> so now I'm going. To, now I've done this part. I'm just going to soften here just to prove my point here. I'm going to go again under this now, and make some um, dark areas of uh, burnt sienna and ultramarine blue, and that's going to be nice and dark. I don't always use that that combination, but for this painting I am because I want. It's a warm, nice. I love these two colors oh, together. Yeah. They're really yeah. lovely. And they're they're kind of, you know, I don't like that word, word really no-brainer, but it is a no-brainer. <laughs> it's kind of, it just darn well works, you know? Uh -huh. And I like things that work. Why don't you like no-brainer? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like, no, it's like picking your brain. Like, that's another one, picking your brains. Ooh. I mean, who wants to do that? <laughs> Okay, so this is the in-between. This is going on in-between. Those little white things you leave yeah. there, the pilings, or whatever you call Posts, them. Posts. Really? Posts or something like that. I, now, I don't want them too even. See, like no, this, I got this going? You see yeah, what I mean? I know. So That's I can't my... do that. So I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to leave that. I don't need any more. It's, okay. it's saying all I need to say. This wet edge, I have to catch it again, though. Watercolor is not difficult. We were talking about this I yesterday. Know. But you know what it is? It's skill. It's skill. You have to have the skills. Once you've got the skills down, yes. it's not it's not that difficult at all. Okay, you know so how got many that. people told me watercolor's hard? I said, not as easy. <laughs> Piece of cake. Where did that come from? Piece of cake. <laughs> it's another one. A <laughs> birthday party. <laughs> birthday party. See how we've got that little yeah, time happening there? Yeah. Isn't that fun? Oh, yeah. yeah, this is really, really fun. Okay, now we're going to complete, we're going to close this composition by putting a large building here. And then uh, we're going to have some more wharf coming over this way. So away we go. Now, okay. as you can see, yeah. most of this is mid-value. So this has got to be pumped up with all kinds of wonderful stuff. In the meantime, we've got most of our main part done. Yeah. This is not, I don't necessarily have to finish this. It's not about this. It's about all this that's going on here. Right. So this now I go back to my what I, we call this almost no name. I say it called no name color because it's just it's just you know what do I say about it? It's just it's there. boards. It's boards. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the here's, I'm going to take this. This is going to go down like so, and then this is going to go down like so. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet this edge a little bit, and that one as well because I'm going to pull this over so these boards now are, are defined. All right. Those are, isn't that neat? Yeah. Don't you love it when a plan comes together? Yeah. Okay. So we got to help people that don't know how to uh, relate to the fish stores and wars. What about photographs? Do you recommend using photographs? Oh yeah, definitely. I really do, yeah. I use photographs because in our climate, it's hard to paint outdoors all the time. I know. You know, and besides, we're too busy. You know, the only like problem with I find is they want to put every little thing in oh, that's yeah. in the photo. They yeah. got they got to learn to eliminate all that trash. Yeah, it's editing. Yeah, it, it really, it, it is. Working from a photograph or working plein air, it is. It really is about editing, and it's about light. Yeah. Now, with a photograph, you're luckier. Yeah. It's because you know, like it stays still. But when you're out there. Uh, the, the light moves all the time, and so you have to sort of take a quick sketch, do your yeah. thumbnail sketch, so that you, yes. uh, you capture the light and then leave it there. Yeah. So that's uh, that's what I kind of do. Well, that's what Dave Weitzman told me. Is that what he did? He said, 
Never mind taking pictures. He said, get out there and do the drawing. Go home and then do the painting. He said, it's all fresh in your mind. <laughs> and I did. Gosh, you, so you do him really well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, so. And I couldn't believe it. He said, you'll, you'll pass everybody, you'll leave them in the dust. They won't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. And, and I started doing that. I'd, go out and I'd sit in the van in the winter and I'd do a little quick sketch and then yeah. I'd go home and bingo. And I did, learn, yeah, they, eliminated they all that trash. Yeah. Yeah. The thing I don't like about photos too is that, like up, look at the look off when you're up at Blomiden. Yeah. You get these fantastic views, and you get home and they're all flat. <laughs> it's a, it doesn't look like you're on a hill at all. No, I know it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. But do you know what it's the neat thing is, and this is what this is about here. Like this, this I'm just going to pull this over here okay. so you can see it. What's really neat? Let me just do this really quickly. Okay. If you're looking down on something, let's just say this building is is this is the building in front of us. We've got this going here. Yes. Now that's just that's straight. Yes. But look what happens if I do this. Oh yeah. There you see it looks yeah. like you're looking down on it. So you're yeah, creating that's illusion. Right. If you look at so this is why I say this is down in the front uh, uh, and this is up in the back. Yeah. Down and up. And this is my little quick lesson in, and this is how I teach, is because you don't really need to be that accurate. Right. I mean, if you want to be that accurate, go to somebody who does it, yeah. but you're not going to come to me for it. No, no, no. No, like I just say, no, 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 life is an illusion yes. anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> you know, do it this way. So looking up at it, I'm going to exaggerate this now, but it goes like this. This line is going to be longer than this line, so I'm just going to do that, this like this way, and I'm going to do that. Yeah. Look at the exaggeration yeah. here. So we do that. See? And then I'm looking uh, looking up at it. Yeah. So this is up in the front, this, and this is down in the back. Yeah. So this is a, so the front part is here, and the back is there. Right. So yeah. that's <laughs> exaggerating. If you're going to be on the horizon line, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, no problem there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Everything's all straight across. So <laughs> there's a couple of ways you can do this. Either always be on the horizon line, or know these little little yeah, tricks and gimmicks. Yeah, and then what's really neat is once you've established a light source, which happens to be on this side, then you can really go yeah. to town. Sometimes I do it like in really, really dark colors so you can see it. So the light's yeah. coming from this direction, so guess what? Yeah. It's gonna be something like that, yeah. you know, and then it goes like that, and then yeah. it does that. Yeah. You know. We gotta have the door so Ambers can get in. <laughs> Green door. <laughs> yeah, green door. Do you know, have you noticed my poor old doors are never on this? Maybe what I have to do is that, so that at least you've got a little door, you know, with a little... Yours are always closed? <laughs> <laughs> Either that or they don't have any. <laughs> yeah. Poor Ambrose. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here I go now. I'm going to finish this guy. This is the wharf that's going over here. And this is, I tend to do this a lot. See how they're uneven? This is a little early yet. You see this when I start to pull this together, it'll start to come together and you'll see it. But I like things that do things like this that yeah. goes against it. This is this this is one of those things where yeah. it looks like they've hung somebody, but it's well, really the, hung up there. That's for all that's for hoisting in the fish. <laughs> yeah. That's for that's for hauling them in. Yeah. Okay, so underneath here is going to be some more. It's all about the drawing with the brush. Do you do ever do this? I I, haven't done I don't it. use a pencil. You don't use a pencil? Don't, no. no. I, I I well I do, but not very often. I like to, they will do it like so. Okay, now I'm going to go back with my burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. I'm only using three colors so far. I when I get that, to the wharf yeah. jewelry, I'm going to be doing a lot more. All right. I've got a little bit of cat orange there, so I'm going to build that up. Now, because that edge is wet. Yeah, I saw that. You see, Sneaked gonna, right in there. Yeah, and I want it to, but not, not quite that much. So there we have, this is going underneath. This is, they are um, coherent. I love that word. Oh, that's a big Isn't that one. Isn't beauty? Yeah. <laughs> I am cohering. <laughs> so am I out of both ears. <laughs> so this is all happening here. I've just added a little bit of raw sienna here. I see that. So that's doing that. Okie dokie. So back down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few rocks here. Because most of the time, with most of these places, there is oh, there, there yeah. going to be rocks there. Same colors so far. Same colors, the three colors that I love. This is, there we are, raw sienna, red sienna, little ultramarine blue, so there we have that. I start with the light. So this is the, the lighter one. I'm just gonna catch those edges before they dry. And then I'm gonna just, I think rocks, so I put rocks down. I'm not thinking trees now. I'm no, rocks. right. And then they're, so they're chiseled out and they're just I know. all along here. I, this is not a fussy thing, so I don't want too many. I did the rocks last time we had a little thing, so you know you already know how to do them, so not a problem. 
So I'm juggling. This I do this. I juggle, juggle, juggle. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so when that dries a bit, then I'm going to complete it. Okay, this is what's going to happen next. This is really coming together. It's a fun thing, isn't it? Yeah. And you have, you'll notice that there's no sky I here. I noticed that. Did you notice there's yes. no sky here? I'm glad you noticed that. What? Because <laughs> sometimes skies are white. They're not always, we don't always, I have, know, but you know, most people want to put a sky with something in it, but you don't have to. Okay, what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to emphasize this a little bit more. Because yes. the light's coming from this right. direction, the light's dead on this, and I'm going to leave that white. All right. Yeah. So, I'm going to increase the pigment a little bit with these guys. Take a little bit of that water off, and not, not a little bit more than that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you do, Ivan. Okay, here we have. Oh, that's better. Muchy. There we are. So I'm going to do this, but am I going to fill it in? It all in? No. No, no, <laughs> not this. It doesn't look now like I, the old roof. No, it doesn't, does it? But I put a little bit of that in there. I got a feeling it needs a little rust. Oh, around for doors? Oh, well, yeah. Don't you that, think a little yeah, rusty that, roof? Yeah. yeah. And so, that. And that some of that orangey yellow moss. Oh, you will put some around. What do you think? And yeah, Let's. And Wayne Manuel's down there. I don't know if you know Wayne's in Peggy's Cove. In the back of his. Oh, is it? Has he got lots and lots of that wonderful oh, stuff? Oh, in the there? back end. Uh, so you'd have to go to Lobster Lane to see it. You know okay. Lobster Lane? Oh, I do know Lobster Lane. You go yeah. there and all you right. see on the back end, it's that all that orange and green stuff. Oh, that's great stuff. And you know it's different in the spring. It's like everything else. It's I'm, much, much brighter. So at this time of year, it's quite dark. Yeah. Now, underneath this little guy here, Shadow. it's going to be. And I've just taken the ultramarine blue, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit of the burnt sienna, and I'm going to go under here. It's going to bleed a bit, so I have to watch me that the brush is not too wet. Now, where'd they come up the word bleed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, needs a transfusion. Okay, here we go. Underneath there, now that bottom edge is going to have to be softened into what's yeah. going on next to it. So I'm going to drag that down a little bit, put little holes like there. And then what I'm going to do, my brush is almost dry. Yeah. Right underneath here, I'm going to give that a little place to bleed into. There you go. Yeah, that Oh, doesn't that do it for yeah. you? Yeah. Really does it for me. All right, now underneath this part is going to be a shadow as well. Very particularly yes. there because of the way the light is humming, coming. So I'm going to put it there. That's going to go down a little bit, and it's going to be a bit underneath the underneath that piling. So That's what I find that a lot of folks that begin painting, they they don't make the lights and darks the shadows, so, and they wonder why their paintings don't look good. Well, this is what happens to us, you know. Like a lot of when my students bring them to me, sometimes they'll say, "I know that there's something that needs to happen here," <laughs> and most of it. And then I, you know, I'll work on their paintings if they let me. And I, all I do Dang is girl. they've done the work, and I get the credit, really. And, they, and it's really about dark. It's getting the darks. Don't be afraid of your darks. No. Uh, and we had a, a friend of mine wrote a poem about that. Is that right? Yeah, I have to get it out, dig it out, and show it to you because it's so good. It's really, really clever. Don't be afraid of your darks. We well, should put it to music, Ivan. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> good. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so underneath here now. Now I want you to look closely, everybody. Come on in here because in the, it's not just going to be a dark door. That's an open door. I will. I'm ah. uh, going to finally put a door in here. So it's not even a door. Yes. Well, it's not, no, it's no. It's opening. an opening of the door. It's opening. So inside, it's not necessarily all closed in. Like there's going to be boards. Barrels. You and know, boards and things and like this. There's going to be little marks in there. We could even put Ambrose in the door, but we're not going to Who? do that today. Ambrose. Who's Ambrose? Ambrose the fisherman. Oh! Ambrose is a fisherman. Him. Yeah, sometimes he's a farmer. Sometimes oh. he's a seagull. He's your man. Is, he, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. He, yeah. he is. And this is I going to, I know that this is going to be. He's going to watch this. this um, <laughs> but I know an Ambrose. And it's, it's Jessica, my daughter's father in law. Oh. And I used the word Ambrose, or the name Ambrose, for years and years and years. And everybody thought it was my husband. I said, no, no, it was, not, it was Ambrose. I love the name. It's a beautiful name. So I used Ambrose. Okay, that's nifty. It's the same we Ambrose. We had an Ambrose you know? that used to bring our, our remolding supplies. Oh, did you? Oh, it's, not, it's not a common name. See how this is coming together? One time in the winter, Ambrose was making a delivery, and our driveway was on a little bit of a slope. He parked his truck, took out the stuff, we came in and talked. 
First thing we looked out here is this truck going down the driveway. Smacked <laughs> into April's car. Ooh, I think that cost them a meal or two. I was in a restaurant last night and I said, be nice or leave. <laughs> <laughs> Did you leave? No. Oh, no. No, I stayed and had a lovely, lovely, lovely yeah? dinner. Where was yeah. that? Well, can you do that? Can we talk about sure, that? Sure, we can okay, talk well, about this anything. Is, this is, it's a little bar and grill in Timberley. Oh. And I've gone driven by it, you know, so many times. And I went in there. My goodness, it was good. Good food? food? Was, yes. Wonderful food. And wonderful service. It was lovely. It was really, really quite fun. Okay, I'm putting some shadows on these guys. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, and underneath here, there's going to be a few more shadows just underneath there. That's coming together quite nicely. I'm going to go to... Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Yes, I'm going to do it now. I am, I am, I am. I'm going to put a barrel. It's oh, a rusty yeah. barrel. Oh, Punching. Yeah. A what? <laughs> <laughs> you know those big barrels that they salt their cod in? They're big. Like. Are those those turquoise things? Because we're going to put some of those in. And now no, 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 no. They were wood. It was the, the real, the okay. real punching. Oh. They were like a big barrel. Oh. They're a barrel, but they're big. And that's where they put those big cod in. They salt them. But oh. that's just a normal barrel. Nice. Did you see what I did there? Yes, I saw that. Did, wasn't that you clever? Sneak that little... I snuck that right in there. I'm just going to take a look at the light that I'm leaving yeah. on that one. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, are you ready for this? This is this is this is a back I'm ready. This is. Okay, this I'm going to go now. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> this is too fun. That's one of my favorite oh, colors. Oh, I love it. And this is this is co it, cobalt turquoise. Yeah, yeah. And it's absolutely a dandy color. I am going to put some stuff in here. Yeah. This is all. And yeah, you see this little dots and dashes. Uh, and on the the far side, I'm going to take some Prussian blue, which is a the cool blue. And over here, Shaders. it's going to have yeah, a little shading. Yeah. Everything has to have shading. Yeah. Everything really does. Oh, Even in a dull day, there's going to be some showing. Yes. Now, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, you're ready for this? Oh, I know what you're going to yeah, do. Yeah, I know. These, <laughs> are, these are red buoys. They're probably all faded and everything. I'm going to put a, one here, one here, one here. This oh, is what I call wharf jewelry. And this is oh, really, that's really good idea. Fun. Isn't that fun? Sure. But what this does is because this is kind of a gray painting yes. anyway, and these buildings are, but oh, Nova yeah. Scotia is very colorful regardless of that. But this is uh, uh, what you do is that with the chroma colors against these grays, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Now yeah. I'm going to go under this one. I'm going to work this one a bit. Look at that. So just makes it sing. Doesn't it though? And I'm going to go, there's a little bit of something. Could be a door or a window, but this is, there's the, the blue. That's too much. See why I have a towel? Yeah, I know. I use paper towels. Do you? Uh, I use a roll of toilet paper with. Uh, I, yeah, with, I used to. With um, paper towel on them. Yeah. Yeah. But they get stiff though. <laughs> okay, so here I'm going to do the. So with these, if you didn't wash. <laughs> <laughs> these, I like this though. I like this kind of. Uh, uh, this yeah, is just stuff like. going on inside there. So we're going to do it that way, and we're going to put this. This is a big, big door. This is because this takes in a lot of stuff. Yeah. So this is, and this is going to have this on it, and this on it, and this on it. Oh yeah, the braces. Yeah, and you know, I can't stand it, but I got to do this. Why, why can't you stand? I got to put... Rusty hinges. I got to rusty hinges. <laughs> I just had to do that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to do a little of the calligraphy, which is just a few lines through here. Not too dark. Which, which reminds me a minute ago when you said about... This, I like because I was talking about the roll of paper and you used to do it and you say but you like this and that's one thing that folks need to learn they don't have to do everything like you do or no, like I do no it's what they're comfortable with yeah. and what works yeah exactly because right. both of them work the towel works great I can see that oh yeah never thought of it never dreamed of it a matter of fact the first day I walked in I was like what you got a paper what you got a towel down here for <laughs> I didn't say anything but that's okay just in people. case I need a shower in between <laughs> Painting, I guess. Oh. You know, it's really, it's very, very useful to have yeah. one. And, but you're right. And one of the things that I do as a teacher, I give people the skills to do it. Right. But I don't expect them to do them like mine. Right. What they do, but if they do them, they will do it their way. Yeah. It's like a signature. They will do it their way. And that, that will work really yeah. quite well. I'm just going to do a few little lines here just to, to suggest that there's, this is... Yeah. You know, ma made of boards right. and so on. But I really don't want a lot of stuff on here because this is what I'm developing. And yeah. I do not, it's because Well, this is where all your attention is. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I don't have just a little bit of detail in here. There we 
go. A little more underneath this eave. I love these darks under the eaves. Yeah. When I'm doing a building, I leave eave space. Yeah. See that? And so yeah. that it doesn't come right to the end. Sometimes I've seen people, and I break a line up. Yeah. If I take that right along, it's boring. I can't stand to be bored. Don't bore me. <laughs> <laughs> so back I go with underneath here. I want to go darker. Now it's whipping cream consistency. It's really, it's, it's, it's thick. What is this? Is this, is, this is, I'm is, going back underneath here. Going this with... is where it's going to be the darkest dark is right at that yes, underneath part. Yes. And this now is. Now is this, uh, what is it? Uh, what color? No, no, no it's, uh, <laughs> your terminology. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not skim milk. Oh, no, no, no. This, this is, is cream. This, this is whipping cream. Could be yogurt. Oh, whipping cream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Could be yogurt. Oh, yeah, that's yogurt's pretty thick. Yeah, you know, th yogurt's pretty thick, and it's Greek yogurt too. Well, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's, really, it's really thick. It's yeah, straight out of the can oh. of the, of the uh, plastic gizmo, and then you can use the plastic gizmo to put your water in. That's right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here it is. Oh yeah. More. I think. I, oh, I guess I got to do it. I got to do it. This has got to come up higher, so it's going to be a light, light against dark. You don't have any ladders in. How the fishermen get down to their boats? There it is. Oh, there! I saw that as soon as I <laughs> said no, no, it. No, 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 it's not going to be there. I saw that as soon as I <laughs> said it. I said, I bet you're going to say there it is. is. Yeah, it's really. Uh, if he, if, oh, I know what I'm. And wondering. I know you didn't plan. That. <laughs> I'm going to go in here with new gamboge. I say it's new gamboge because it's a Windsor Newton color. I use yeah. gamboge is just yellow, but new gamboge has a little bit of a different yeah, kind yeah. of. A, uh, it looks when it dries, it goes darker. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this dust down in here. Because that looks like the seaweed. Yes. That's kind of fun, isn't it? That's it's going to be here. At low tide, that's what happens. And, that, and, and I remember Dave again told me one time, he says, And when the painting changes, let her go. Never mind trying to fix it. Yeah. Let her go. It'll yeah. tell you what to do. <laughs> well, it, it, <laughs> uh, well I, I use that term. Your painting it actually will. Now, I want a little bit of, yeah. I'm putting a little bit of um, burnt sienna. That's good. Or what you can do is use um, some quinacridone. Burnt orange. That's, That's another fabulous color. It's beautiful. I've never heard of okay. it. Okay. Have not heard of that? <laughs> no. Oh, you're going to learn a lot from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Isn't that coming along nicely? Oh, yeah. Now, this is dry, so I'm going to put in a few little darks here. How are we doing for time? Are we don't. Oh, right? we got all kinds of time. Okay, good. So now, here I go again with, I'm going to separate some of these out. This line, that outside line, I hope you're listening, students. This is outside line is what you have to soften. So see, this is going to yep. do that. Yep. And then like this, and then like that. And I'm just going to go around there. Shadows. Shadows, absolutely vitally important. And this is, these are little illustrations, really. This is a lovely, lovely little topic to do. For those of you who are going to come to Nova Scotia from wherever you are in the world, I do highly recommend one of the most beautiful places in the world. And I have done a bit of traveling, so I do know some beautiful places, and this is one of them. Where is it? Us, right here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say Peggy's Cove. Uh, well, yeah, that's pretty nice, too. It's and Prospect, nice. and Terrence Bay, and... Oh, it's and everywhere. These little coves. If you're an Cove, artist... Northwest Cove, and, yeah, oh, and Lunenburg. Yes. And Lunenburg. Yeah. Albert's Wharf Gallery. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Albert's Wharf Gallery. Now, look, see, what I'm going to do is I'm, these edges here need to be cleaned up. Mm -hmm. And I can do that by going darker. Yes. I can go in here now and pull out some negative shapes. For those of you who don't know, Albert's Wharf, uh, Albert was a, a one-legged fisherman. Yeah, he was. And he was just a wonderful man. Oh, great storyteller. And um, my cousin Kathy who edited my book, uh -huh. Albert was like her father. She lost her father when she was Aww. just a, I think she was nine. Oh my goodness. And she would go fishing with Albert. <gasps> I didn't know oh, that. Oh yes, yeah, she would. She knows, so when it came to editing my book, she knew the terminology, she knew, she lived the life. Her and Albert like uh, were like daughter and, and father. How beautiful. And, oh yeah, and she, uh, so she, she lived it, and she would spend all the time in Albert's Wharf Gallery. Well, it wasn't a gallery then. No, With it Albert wasn't. and, and helping him doing the whole thing. Oh, yeah. I don't know how he got around with one leg like well, he did. Well, of course, he'd had the crutch, but he... Um, I know. And he used to rent this, not my, this house, but the one that, that he had before yeah. this one. This one replaced it. But he... Um, 
he used to rent his house in the summertime yes. to people. And, and live in the fish store. And lived in the fish store. Yeah. Because he didn't have to cross the road. And no. it wasn't as busy as it is now. Oh, no, but no. he still, we would have had trouble. I'm just adding a little bit of yeah, this. Yeah, I like that. Now to indicate that that's one going on. Okay, so now what are we going to do? I'm going to put some wharf jewelry over yeah. here. <laughs> wharf jewelry. And this is, that's my own personal. Oh, jewelry. you're coming that wall. Yeah, yeah. Wharf jewelry, yeah. So there's going to be, I've got to have one of these barrels, don't you think? Yes, definitely. There's another one. And, and we, we also need some uh, fish boxes to put the fish boxes in. So we're going to pile those all up. Right. Now, oh, see how that is? Yeah. That's just a bunch of little lines. Then what we're going to do, because there's less water on my brush now, while that's wet, I'm going to just separate them a little. <laughs> fish jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wharf jewelry. Wharf jewelry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, well, that's, that's good. Yeah, it is, and everybody calls it wharf jewelry now. Well. Yeah. Oh, but you haven't seen the best part. Wait till you see how I'm going to finish this. Okay. Over. I'm anxious. Just, yeah. Okay. Um, we got to have some red here. Okay. Now I can use two reds. I can use a warm red, or I could use a cool red. Most of them are well, they're various colors. I know. But I'm going to use a cool red, and that's my permanent rose. It's one a color that I love, or quinacridone rose. But you know what? You never used ever in alizarin and crimson. Do you have? It? I don't. I don't use it. Wow. I don't use it. I use permanent rose. Isn't that interesting? I don't find it makes good purples. I don't like its purples. But you I don't. Do, I don't like its purples. No. Wow. No. No. Am I going to be all right though if I don't like its purples? I'm going. To, I don't I'm know what your problem is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we got we've got a few little oh, warm yeah. and red things here. More wharf wharf jewelry. That's interesting. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. No, I don't care for it. Um, <laughs> Oh, there you are. Now this has got a lot going on back here, and I'm inclined to put something here, just simply because this is this, this yes, probably needs yes. a little something. So I could do a couple of things. Remember the one that I did of the ocean with the with the sky. Yeah. Well, I could probably put just a little bit of that in there, because this is a dry brush painting. Right. But it's a, a, a dry brush. Uh, should say loaded brush, not exactly dry brush. I'm going to do a bit of dry brushing now, and I'm thinking about that. Over here is going to be a viridian net. And I'm going to dry, dry brush it to get it on there. Okay. So I'm going to get some Viridian. And I'm going to go over to here to see how that feels. That is too wet for me to do that. I need to catch the tooth of the paper. So I'm going to, to put it all on my brush. So the whole thing. You can, you can, can you see this? Yes. Yes, I can okay. see that. What's there? And then what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. That's dry brushing. Yeah. There's our net. This is going to hang on to something. Going to have any corks? Okay. <laughs> what color? Are they going to have to be raw sand, aren't they, really? Because they really are. Well, bad. they're brown. They're, they're brown. brown so we'll, we'll put a few little corks in there. That's corky. That's corky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, so that's good. Now, I think we need a little bit of sky here. I agree with you. You I, do, don't I, you? Yeah, I like sky. I like skies. So what I'm going to do is the one that I did for the ocean scene, I'm going to do it here. And I'm going to, and then I'm going to put a few seagulls back okay. in here Oh, well. yeah. You know, got to have seagulls. You know, I mean, after all. I could put a boat here, but well, I think it's going to be, to take too well, long. Well, they're all fishing. This is, they're all, they haven't come back yet. <laughs> no, that's right. That's right. They are. They're all <laughs> out there with, with their dories and everything. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take ultramarine blue. Now, this sky, we've got this beautiful, beautiful ultramarine blue, which is all dirty, so I have to clean it up. And this is how I do it, because I don't... Uh, I don't respect my paints at all. They have well, to that be... is respecting them. Well, it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ivan, I feel better now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. this is about a homogenized it's, it's milk consistency. Like, it's like um, multicultural. They have to learn to get along together, those colors. Yes, you do. So, I mind palettes the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm going to take my brush, clean it off, take off the excess water and soften my edges. Right. There it is. Da, 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 da. That's how you do it. And we've got this blue going on in here. Might even have, do a little bit of emphasis here. I'm going to make a, a blue blotch. All right. A blue blotch, and then I'm That's going to dangerous. soften it. It is dangerous. But I'm going to do it instead of doing like which maybe kind of a bit of a linear blotch. All but right. anyway, I'm going to do this, like so. And then I'm going to take my brush, clean yeah, it up, take off the quick. excess water, and then I'm going to yeah. work it this way, so That's that the it. sky is yeah. just going to be. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Yeah. And I soften some of those edges. Yes, that's... I'm going to do some more. Go back and get some more up in here. You see how I softened some of those yeah, edges? Yeah. This is where we're going to make this 
really, really. I hope this isn't going to be like our hurricane that was coming up the coast of the Carolinas. No, that's yeah, that's, that's, that's terrible. Well, it's, it's a it's 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 down to a weakening. category too. It is weakening, thank goodness. Yeah. But even so. So that's kind of nice, don't yes, you think? Yes, yes. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit more here. I don't want to overdo it because no, I, I'm no, going to put no. some ocean back there. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go back in here. I could go over this, but I just don't want to lift it. No, that's good. It's not that bad because it's dry now. So Which gonna... reminds me about uh, uh, talking about your palate. Yeah. Some, some people don't know that it's best to put your paint in a palette and let it harden. Uh-huh. Some people want fresh yeah, color. Yeah, some people do, and there's nothing wrong with that. I know, but it's... I, I just don't care for it. It, it. it Then when you get it... And it gets too gooshy, and then yeah. you get rid of it. And then you get blobs. Yeah, yeah you get blobs. Oh, that's, now you're talking. That, isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah, okay, now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go back here again. This is going to be a wet edge, slightly wet edge, which is fine. So that means less water on my brush. And I'm going to go just in here now. This is when I... Hold my brush a little differently. This line is going to go here. I want that to bleed, so that's quite fine. Back there. And then I'm going to take the brush. Yeah. Like this. And leave a little bit of white. Yeah. Bring that down. Like so. Take that down. Soft hard edges, and bring that down like so. A little bit here. I don't want that terribly strong. I don't need it that way. I'm going to put this. It's going to be a bit darker underneath here. That's kind of. Mucky, sandy stuff. I don't want that there. This was an afterthought, so I let that dry. There we have it. Very good. Yeah, that's kind of fun, isn't it? Now, yep. I'm not going to put the seagulls in just yet because it's, it's just a bit too wet. All right. But that's how it's going to look. I mean, this is, it's definitely about all this in yeah, here. Yeah, I could put a few more little darks in here if I like, just to emphasize the rocks a bit more. And we only just got a few. So what are your seagulls' names? Uh, oh, <laughs> 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 well, I've got a seagull down at Albert's Wharf. Is, I call Eddie. Eddie? Yeah, Eddie, and he kept bangs on the window for food. Oh, you have a real goal. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah Eddie and his wife. I know. He's absolutely, he's greedy to the time gun. He doesn't, his wife, he takes his, he goes and eats and he doesn't let her do it. I know, but do you know what it's happens in right. the spring? Does he let her eat? Yes. Now, you know, I don't know if you know my brother-in-law, Webby. No, I don't. He had a pet gall, Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan, Logan Seagull. Yeah, yeah, okay. And, I remember that and, story. Yes. And in the spring, Jonathan let his girlfriend eat all she wanted. But the rest of the year, he go. <laughs> I know what he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted babies. Yes, he wanted. He was just oh. Well, we it would only be the spring. Yeah, it was only spring. Funny. This is just just. I uh, might you be okay. Should have your hair dryer. I should, and I could, but I'm not going to do it. Right. So what I'm going to do is just we're just going to do this. It it it'll it'll be okay. It's it's dry enough. All right. We'll just put those in there. And they're all going to be just in this How many one. do you put in? Are oh, they... I don't know, but 50,000 probably. <laughs> there we have Very it. good. What do you think? I think it's great. Okay, please, please, uh, applause, please. Thank you. Thank oh, you, got, thank you didn't do it, you didn't finish. Uh, what? Oh, no, I didn't finish. You're right. I just don't like that edge there. So okay. I just, it's what, this definitely. I okay. know, sometimes I put them aside and then I go back and look at them later and say, how did I miss that? Oh, I know. Okay, here it is. All right. Now, a Staples pencil and to boot. Here's my. <laughs> no. Somebody told, told me, told me. Somebody told me when they were. Oh, 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 Merrick, Merrick Sullivan. Yeah. I showed her the video yesterday that, and oh. she said, I just love the way Gianna signs her name. Aww. So there you go. Okay, here I go. I like the lower case. Yeah, I know. It, like really good. It works. Now I'm. I'm now I'm. <laughs> <laughs> 
And there we have That's it. There it we are. There, there we have it. Okie dokie. Okay, folks. Okay, thank you so much for that. You're welcome. That thank you. It was fun. It was really fun. Okie doke. Okay.